Question number 10. The curve C1 has equation y equals f of x. The f of x is 4x minus 3 into x minus 5 whole square. Our part A says sketch the curve showing the coordinates of any point where the curve touches, touches or, the, or crosses the coordinate axis. The question has three marks. Okay, this is the given function. So when you take a look at it, it is a cubic function. When you expand this, you will have x squared. When you multiply, it's a cubic function. And we are going to sketch this graph. It has three marks. So when you sketch the graph, when you want to sketch a graph, you need to find the, uh, the solutions for this function. You equate this function to zero and find the uh, point of intersection with coordinate axis. So when you take this function 4x minus 3 into x minus 5 whole square equals 0. When you equate them separately, 4x minus 3 is 0, x minus 5 whole square is 0. So you get x is 3 upon 4, here x is 2 factors, it's the same, 5 on 5. So we got the x coordinates already, the x intercept two points actually, 5, 1, 3 upon 4. Now, number 2, you need to find the y-intercept. How do you find the y-intercept? In this function, when you substitute, x is 0, because y-intercept is a point where x will be 0. So when you substitute, x is 0 here, when your x is 0, this will be 0 minus 3, into 0 minus 5, which is minus 5 whole square. So you will have minus 5, this is 25, minus 75. So that's the y-intercept, 0 comma minus 75. And here we got x-intercept also. So you got all the points already. Now we are going to uh, proceed to sketching the curve. But before sketch the curve, there is one more very important point. You need to pay attention to the coefficient of x cube. When you multiply here, your x square will be positive. So when you remove the bracket and expand, 4x into x square will be 4x cube. The coefficient of x cube is positive, positive 4. So we know for sure our curve will look like this. If it is negative, the curve will be upside down. So always need to pay attention to the coefficient of x cube. That's very important. So we got all the points. Let's proceed to uh, sketching the curve. Let's take all these points. So our points, uh, first solutions are 3 upon 4, 5 upon 5. And y intercept is 0 comma minus 75. So you need to sketch this curve. So let's say this is y axis. And we have x axis here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we need the point 5 and 3 upon 4. So somewhere here. 3, 4. Y intercept, you can see it's minus 75. So take it as like 10, 10 units. Uh, maybe it, I'm going to take it as 20, 20. So minus 20, minus 40, minus 60 minus 70, minus 80. So your minus 75 will be, this is 70, 75 will be somewhere here, minus 70. Now we are going to sketch the graph. The graph will be, since we have two equal solution at 5, the graph will touch the x-axis at 5. So it will be something like this. And it will, it will intersect y-axis at 75 minus 75 exactly. So this is what our curve. So whenever you draw, you label the axis and label the graph as well. F of x is 4x minus 3 into x minus 5 whole square. So your x intercept you got two values, but if you learn a sketching cubic graph. You must know this already, whenever you have two equal values, two equal roots, the curve will touch the x-axis at the point where the curve has two equal roots and crosses the x-axis at the other point and your y-intercept is this. This is what, this is how our curve will look like and this has three marks. But the important thing you need to label the axis and graphs, that's very important too. 
Now part B says find the values of x for which f of 1 upon 4 x equals 0. That's the part 1 in B and part 2 is find the value of the constant p such that the curve with the equation f of x plus p passes through the origin. In our part B there are two questions. First one they want you to solve this function. So we have f of x, so if you want f of x upon 4 equals 0, if you want f of x upon 4 or 1 by 4x, you take the actual function, replace x by x upon 4. So in the actual function, when you replace x by x upon 4, 4 into x upon 4 minus 3 into x upon 4 minus 5 whole square is 0. The actual function, only thing you replace x by x upon 4 whatever given here. Now you need to solve it, that's it. You equate it to 0 separately. So when you equate this, it is x minus 3 is 0. Here x minus 4, uh, x upon 4 minus 5 is 0. So your x is 3 and your x is 20 and 20 actually 2. This is the solution. But if you want to do it this way, there is another method. If you want to find these two points, you have the actual function that we sketch in our part A. Our point of x, x intercept is 3 upon 4 and 5. This is the function f of x, this actual function. When you apply transformation, when you replace x by x upon a in general, the new graph the new graph f of x, x upon a, how the graph will look like. The x coordinate, all the x coordinate will be multiplied by a. If you replace f, uh, f of x by f of a x, you all the new x coordinates will be divided by a. So in our case, if we replace x by x upon 4, x upon 4, from the actual graph, take the x coordinates, multiply by 4. So when you multiply this by 4, your new x coordinate will be 3. And when you multiply this by 4, new x coordinate will be 20. So your graph will be something like this. So you don't need the graph, you just need the solution. Solution means where the curve x intercept the x axis. So 3 and 20. You got 3 and 20. There are two methods you can use. But if you want to use the part A and proceed to part B, if you want to use the graph in, that we sketch in part A, use the graph, find this way, this is much easy. Or if, you're, if you are sure that you won't make any mistake here in solving, uh, simplifying brackets, this also is easier. It's up to you which, which one you want to you wanna take. Question B, part 2, there are two questions in B. The part 2 says, Sketch the curve y equals f of x plus p. No, they, they don't want you to sketch the curve. They want you to find the value of p for which this curve passes through the origin. So we have the actual curve f of x here. Now you need to find this curve f of x plus p in such a way that the curve, the new curve, the transform one, must pass through origin. They say pass through origin. So how do we do that? When you move this curve 75 unit upwards your new curve will be pass through here. The new curve will be here. When you move the curve upwards 75 units. So when you, re when you replace f of x by f of x plus 75. That means in graphs and transformation you must have learned this. If you replace f of x by f of x plus a, the graph will be shifted a units upwards. So when you move this graph upwards a units, 75 units, your graph will pass through origin. So you can write it as p equal 75 because f of x plus 75 will pass through origin. In part c, a second curve c2 has an equation y equals g of x where g of x equals f of x plus 1. Again part c has two questions. First one, find in simplest form g of x. You may leave your answer in the factorized form. And number two, hence or otherwise, 
find the y intercept find the y intercept of c2 this question has three marks part c there are two questions first one we need to find g of x where g of x equal to f of x plus 1 it's so simple take the function replace x by x plus 1 you got g of x also so our g of x equals in this function replace x by x plus 1 and simplify very carefully 4 into x plus 1 minus 3 because i replace x by x plus 1 into x plus 1 minus 5 whole square simple replace x by whatever given here x plus 1 now it's all about removing brackets and simplification you don't need to remove the whole bracket and the write the expand the the cubic function without the brackets because your question says you can leave your answer in the factorized form factorized form means this form so when you simplify this your g of x will be 4x plus 4 minus 3 which is 4x plus 1 because 4 minus 3 1 here you will have x 1 minus 5 is minus 4 whole square that's it that's a solution for the first question in part c now second question says hence or otherwise find the y intercept of this new curve c2 if you want to find the y intercept you can replace x by 0 if you put x is 0 your g of x will be this is 0 so 1 into this is 0 minus 4 whole square so it will be 16 so your y intercept is 16 if you want the point it's 0 comma 16 that's it so this is how we find g of x and you don't need to sketch the curve and all because they don't want you to sketch the curve they just want you to find the y intercept of the new curve so replace x by 0 here not in the actual function in g of x because they are asking you to find the g of intercept y intercept of g of x so substitute x is 0 here you got your y intercept 16 